Hi. In a previous video, I've said that when we meet people for the first time, we have five ways in which we immediately judge them. Yes, we do. We judge them. The first is how they look. The second is what they do. The third is what they say. The fourth is how they say it. And the fifth is the sound of their voice. Now these evaluations or judgments are often made in the first 20 or 30 seconds of meeting them. But once we know a little bit about them, we judge them by something else. We judge them on the value of their priorities compared with our own. And often, we, as not, we find them wanting. Their priorities are different to us. Ours might be, for example, what we do for a living compared with what we think they do for a living. Is ours more valuable to the community? These are the sorts of thoughts that go through our head. What do they spend their money on? They're still renting in a real dump and yet they're driving a real brand new car. Why? So we assume that our priorities of having the home before the car is the right way to be. They don't see it that way. I've come across people who say, no, I'll never buy a home. I prefer to invest my money and get the dividends from that. And we say, no, no, there's no security in that. So we're judging them from our own value or system of priorities. And we do that right throughout our lives. We look towards other people's values compared with their own values. And this, I think, is wrong. They are on their own paths. We are on ours. We don't have to change them. If they want to be changed, if they come to us for advice, that's a different matter. But sticking our bib in there and saying they have to change to become like us, which is so often done, to my way of thinking, is, well, it's immoral. They've chosen their life. They've brought things into their life. If they are happy with the way things are going, reasonably happy, it's not up to us to try to change them. On the other hand, if they are unhappy, obviously unhappy, then we can. As teachers, as speakers, for example, we can inspire people to change. But it's up to them to accept and adopt what we have to say and put it into practice. We have to relinquish control of that. In other words, we do what we can do and leave the results to the universe. Infinite intelligence knows what's going on. We can do what we think is best for ourselves and for other people. But being judgmental and thinking about their priorities compared with their own is not a good way to go. Just realising that in itself is enough. We are judgmental. We do evaluate people compared with our own beliefs and values. But remember, our own beliefs and values are our own. And they can change over time and often do. So just be careful when we evaluate another person. Remember, what we're looking at is the, the packaging. In depth, the real self in each of us is exactly the same. We are immortal souls experiencing a human life experience. So stop being judgmental.